feast your eyes on our creation. <laughs> what began life as a standard R1150R <laughs> is now the throttle out sport utility cycle. Standard motorcycle up front, here's where the magic happened. Here's where we <laughs> lengthened the machine with the square tubing that we purchased. We've got storage, it's insulated, you can put food in there, you can put clothes in there. We've got extra seating, including a folding seat. You know, you've seen these in school before, but this one's a little different. It's welded in place, still folds, all very functional, and it continues to be functional in the back, way back there. Two extra gallons of gas for enhanced range. Kickstand and center stand still work it's as still work. long as the ground is flat. And you got a holy heck handle right here to hold on to in seat number four. It is as magnificent as it is long. And we know that it runs, we know that it rolls. What we don't know is what happens after that. Yeah, we don't know if it's gonna break in half when we put bodies <laughs> on it. We don't know what it's like to ride. We don't. You know what you do need to do though, is you need to put it in gear for me. Uh, use the code that we came up with. You know how to do this. Bridge to engine room. First gear, please. Engine room, first gear. There we go, I think, there you go. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, I got no rear brake. You got the brake too, yep. but so far so good. As long as you go straight. Oh my gosh, it feels so weird to turn. Oh my gosh. It just feels like. You can well, feel the back the ends. Stay out of the puddles. You can feel the back ends out of alignment, but it's it's amazingly conventional from my perspective forward. Yeah. Like the riding position feels totally normal. Well, it is shockingly unconventional from my perspective, oh my but honestly, pretty comfortable. Like steering is ridiculous, Zach. <laughs> I'm just going up across this groove because I want to feel what it's like. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Turning to oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> And we go left again. Going left again? Okay. Ah, this is terrifying. I mean, I'm sure we'll get used to it. Yep, yep. Key to grips, they're working. They're working? Are you they're kidding working. me? That's yep. awesome. Luxury, man, we're on a BMW. Oh, gosh. All right. There's a cancel this, button? This will be a little bit of a test for okay. uh Okay, yep. This chassis is a big dip. And Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it. This is going to okay. take some practice. You want to give it a go? I do. I'm going to deploy the kickstand. Okay. Engine room to bridge. Kickstand deployed. There's got to be a lot of communication on the SUC because there's, we're divvying up a lot of responsibilities on account of the length. <laughs> I'm never a big fan of riding passenger, and this is especially weird. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. This <laughs> <laughs> oh, the steering is super weird. You're so far away. <laughs> Okay, uh, turning left. That's so weird. Hello. Going left again. Could offer that nice lady a ride. <laughs> we have room. We got room to spare. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, well done. Oh, man. Neutral, please. I don't know where it is. There we go. Neutral selected. Right. Side stand. <laughs> Side stand deployed. Side stand deployed. Maiden voyage of the SUC. Oh. Okay, so now we need to test capacity, which means we need crew. Yeah, camera video crew. crew. Not smart enough to get far you enough too, away. You camera guy. We're going to have to set that camera down. You need to climb on. You're getting on. You're getting on. You're coming with us. We're about to sack out the suspension. <laughs> we are. This, this is the true test. We're trying to see if the chassis is going to break yep. here. If you guys hear what sounds like metal tearing and a chassis breaking in half, that's oh. probably what's happening. Tuck and roll. Real, real low. You ready for first gear? First gear, please. And we're off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Oh my we're goodness. Doing it. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty terrifying because all I see is all I see is a line of bowling ball helmets. How's it feel? Uh, extremely heavy. The turn at the end of the alley is gonna be fun. A little bit of rear brake, please. There you go, rear brake. Yes, very good, yes. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay. You know, it's, it's about as heavy as a Harley, Ari. <laughs> it probably weighs pretty similar. <laughs> okay, turn left again. Got it. And ready for second gear, now. Nicely done. Yeah. I mean, it's a smooth roller. All right, we're doing it, guys. SUC. Okay, turning into the alley. All right, man, this is a good test. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, neutral, please. 
Somewhere down there. There you go. Neutral. Yeah, got it. Okay. Side stand's going to get deployed. You guys want to climb off? Thank you for volunteering. Yes. Risking life and limb to test this theory of ours. Slash, you're welcome for being part of history. It didn't break in half. That was honestly a big concern of it mine. It did bottom out. It's an old vehicle. You know, it's sagging a little bit. We just rode around the neighborhood on a motorcycle and carried five people. I mean... That's pretty good. That's awesome. It's it probably never been done before with, with an R1150 anyway. And now we know it works. <laughs> and of course, we were supposed to have left on our adventure this morning, but yes. you know, time gets away from you. The motorcycle did need to get finished and assembled. So I guess we'll get a good night's rest and hit it early in the morning and go off on the SUC. And the cool thing is it's going to be adventure, even if we don't go very far. <laughs> to the mountains!